Okay, guys, I'm here today with Drew Weatherhead. Huge honor for me. Guys, uh, Drew is a black belt from Canada, and he's also the founder of Because Jitsu, that Instagram that you probably have seen before about memes in Jiu-Jitsu. And uh, so he has that very nice community about people who loves memes in Jiu-Jitsu. And guys, uh, today uh, he just shot an entire instructional all about how to be mobile when you are on board, how to make sure that nobody holds you down when you are on board. And today he's gonna show us here like two options that he used that he used when people hold him down on side control with the Kazakatami, right? Yes, uh, Drew. And he already showed me and it was very cool. And we can't wait to share with you guys. So let's do it real. Alright. So anybody who's been on bottom side control, especially in this version, Kazakatami or Scarfold, knows that this is a terrible position to get pinned in. I love being in here on top, but everybody hates being here on bottom. So one good way that I like to get out of here is especially when they've got the underhook right here, which they usually do in jujitsu so they don't get their back taken, but also before they start pulling on this arm where I can actually use this one here and collect my inner uh, elbow thumb grip right here and make a full straight arm. I don't want to bend this or else I'm fighting with muscle. I'm going to lock it out like this and then drop this elbow to the ground right by his hip so his hip can't move this way. And now I'm going to use my feet and I'm going to move my my leg, the bottom leg right here tight. So I'm pinching his hip on one side with my elbow, on the other side with my knee, and then I'm gonna use this free foot to bump up and put my leg underneath right here. Now that I've got him resting on top of my hip, I've got him still straight armed here so he can't put his chest on me, try to turn, yeah, exactly, it's difficult. All I have to do is just turn like so, it's very light. Bernardo's 150 pounds heavier than me and it's uh, no problem at all. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> 350 <laughs> pounds heavier than me. <laughs> One more time, Andrew. It feels like an under scarf fold. <laughs> So you want to get that straight arm locked right away. Don't, don't be playing this game where he's going to muscle you down and I don't have any chance anymore. Immediately go straight right here and drop this. I'm going to pinch his hips like this really tight and then bump and throw my leg underneath. And now I don't have to lift him with my arm. All I'm doing is turning in that direction. And up you come here, here, you have taken the top. Oh, Drew, so I love the fact that, uh, as you said, you're much skinnier than I am. But uh, your ability to create frames is really good. Yes, that's, so a, that's a big focus. Just come back there again. So we know you're creating two very strong frames over here, right? So your hand on my biceps and your elbow on my hip. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of like stuck on frames here. Yeah, now. my goal is to frame you here and then wedge you on the bottom between these two pinched limbs. And then you bring one more frame, which is your knee underneath that's my right. hip, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna bump and there we go. So as this frame turns into a lever as I turn it this way. And just yeah. sit up and, and then you feel myself like, very light yes it should be feather light oh drew and we were discussing the idea of when i get to when i don't allow your hip to come what do you do and you showed me that very good option as well yeah so another option that's similar to this when i get this straight arm right here if i'm having a hard time getting this down in front of the hip sometimes their hips are so tight to my armpit i can't bring it down to the ground that's fine as long as i have this straight arm again locked all the way straight from the shoulder to the wrist I'm going to use my feet right here and walk them away in a semicircle like so. Yeah, I'm losing my base. Yeah, he starts to tip further and further backwards as I start to rock further and further forwards. And this is actually a good drill because now he can do the same thing to me where he straight arms me here, just walks his feet away and tips me back. And up he comes. So this is a nice drill. You can go back yeah. and forth. Yeah. And what's cool is these ones can tie together both of those moves. So if we were, yes, you tell me, I'm here. I've got the hip. But as I'm trying to pinch, um, or sorry, as I'm trying to walk away, you're following me with your hips like that. I can pinch. And we, I got it. And then we're back I got to it. here. So, so it's almost like an action reaction thing. Like if, depending on my reaction can go to version A or version B. That's correct. Yeah. And, well, Drew, and how do you come up with this idea of, uh, I think I know the answer, but how do you come up with this idea of uh, doing a course for mobility on board to make sure that bigger people cannot hold you down? When I was training, most of my training, I was usually one of the smaller people in the gym. That's well, what I expected. Yeah, yep. like I'm, I'm tall, but I'm light. I, I fought most of my fights in MMA and jiu-jitsu at lightweight or featherweight. So like 145 to 160, somewhere in there. Yep. Everybody was bigger than me in the gym. And so I, was, I got used to fighting from the bottom. My instructor's smaller than me too. So he actually, uh, 
plugged in a lot of these cool little tricks that helped him stay safe on bottom. Oh. And it is, it's so important, whether you're the big guy or the small guy, not being able to get pinned on bottom is gonna make your, your bottom game explode, no matter what your game is. Yeah, no, and it's funny because I can see how we use frames really well. So when I were on top of, I was on top of you, I felt a lot of bonds <laughs> because the frames, I think. So I think I can definitely see that working. No, but anyway, so guys, uh, Drew just shot this entire instructional all about how to be mobile when you are on board to make sure that nobody holds you down. Very good idea. And I can really see that, that he knows a lot about it just by the way that he creates his frames. So the entire instructional with all the moves, all the sequence, all the details, it's, it's going to be at bjjfanatics.com. And maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Rio. My pleasure. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.